right, number seven is called The Edge Crossing Guard. First of all, I want to say that some people have been getting in touch with me, and uh, it's kind of fun. So I'm glad that it's working for some of you, and even some people want to do like the 30-day trial, which I actually have to, I guess, design. I mean, basically, it's you committing to doing, to like printing out the list, looking at it once a day, integrating the principles into your life consciously. Okay, so here we arrive at... Number seven, there's a little teaching I need to do along with this. It's pretty simple though. So it's called Edge Crossing Guard and Edge is a process work concept. And it's about our emerging selves, the part of us that's attempting to evolve, what's trying to become known through us, what parts of us want to be lived. And uh, that's exciting and scary. And and sometimes we really resist our own growth because it means leaving the known. It means leaving our comfortable place. So an edge is when we come up against that moment of potential growth. There's an opportunity for us to do something a little different than we normally do it. Uh, there, sometimes we're not even fully aware of that and we just get challenged in this really deep way. And when we get to an edge, usually there's a, a bodily response, an emotional response. We can get a little lightheaded, we can get confused, we can get foggy, we can get tired. Um, maybe emotions will pop up. So basically at an edge, you're being challenged in some way. And and there's probably going to be some kind of a shift in a response. You're going to start feeling kind of weird. So, okay, this happened to me just yesterday, and I'll use an example. I had somebody, I have no idea how he found me, a uh, kid got in touch with me and, like, really wanted to talk, like, really wanted to chat, wanted to get to know each other. He's 19. Uh, probably super sweet, right? But I don't actually have the time and he wanted me to basically be his free therapist, <laughs> which I wish I had one of those too. I completely understand. <laughs> but on my side, it's like, I don't want to take that on. But my normal self is like, be nice to people. That's what we call my primary identity. I want to be nice. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to push him away. So I'm challenged by having to say no by having to say, I can't give you what you're asking me for. I can't and I don't want to. Not just that I can't, I don't want to give you this. Okay, so, so I'm at an edge to say, just to say no. And eventually I did, and I tried to do it in a way that like honored my primary process where I could still be nice, um, but I, uh, is this getting too long? Okay, I might have to redo this video. It might be getting too too much theory. Anyway, I went over the edge, we'll say, by saying eventually saying, no, this is what I can offer you. You can set up a therapy session, and we can do therapy together, and I can be your therapist, or I can wish you good luck. <laughs> and those were the options. And that was me over the edge, and I felt like it was gentle but clear. And it worked pretty much, I think. We'll see how much he messages me today, but I don't have to respond. And that would, again, be over the edge for me to just not respond. Okay, now, that was a lot of talking about edges, but they're important and they're cool and there are little challenges. So the edge crossing guard is this concept of imagining there's a kind of neutral witness who's observing the traffic of your emotional, psychological life. And here comes this 19-year-old boy, and <clears throat> that's the traffic. And my crossing guard is lets me know, is it safe for me to cross that edge? Is it safe for me to go over that edge of, <clears throat> of saying no with him and there were fears actually i had fears like what if he comes after me or like i don't know slanders me on the internet or i don't know so there were little reasons that were telling me 
don't say no to him besides my just be nice thing. But the crossing guard ultimately said, Amy, this is the important risk for you to take right now. Cross that edge. Say no to this boy. So I did. And this can come up in many ways, big and small. I would call that like a like four or three on a scale of one to 10, not a huge edge. Some are much, much bigger. So edge crossing guard, noticing when these little growth opportunities come up and then making an assessment by accessing a more neutral part of yourself that lets you know whether or not it's safe. Here's a perfect example. If you have a crush on somebody and you want to tell them, right? That is a big edge for most people, for me. So that would be a perfect example of like edge cross the guard. Is it safe? And then it's just kind of accessing this other dreamlike part of yourself who will either coach you across or um, tell you, I wouldn't do it right now. I don't think the timing is right. Okay. Have fun.